My name is Mark Minson with Mathnasium of Draper, and today we're going to talk about the importance of lining up the decimals in a subtraction problem. When you're subtracting numbers, the important thing to remember is we're going by place value. We have the tens, we have the ones, we have our decimal point, we have the tenths, and we have the one hundredths position. The reason we need to line up our decimals when we're doing subtraction is that we can't subtract, say, tenths from one hundredths because they're not the same. We can only add and subtract things that are the same. So if I'm going to subtract um, 4.3 from this, we're saying that this is worth three tenths, but this is worth five wholes. They don't match. They're not worth the same place value. So it's very important for us to be able to subtract the same place value from uh, the other. So when I line up, when I am doing a subtraction problem, I am always going to line up my decimal so that each place value is in exactly the same spot. Now I can subtract one hundredths from one hundredths, two one hundredths from five one hundredths, which is three one hundredths. I can subtract three tenths from eight tenths, which is five tenths. My decimals are lining up, four ones from five ones, which gives me a one, and zero from seven. So my answer to this particular subtraction problem is 71.53. All the place values are lined up exactly with each other. This has been Mark Minson with Mathnasium in Draper, Utah, and this is why it's important to line up your decimals in a subtraction or addition problem. Mm -hmm.